Hey guys, it's Shannon. So I'm so excited today to be bringing you my very first Saturday uploaded video and it's for a good reason. So I'm so excited. I've teamed up with Christina over at the DIY Mommy and joined in on her fall decor and DIY challenge. So after you're finished watching this video, I hope you will check out the link that I will have down below that will have a playlist full of great YouTubers and their fall inspired decor and tablescapes and projects and treats that you can see in that playlist that Christina has created. So I've already given you a whole video on how we created this coffee bar and now it's time to update for fall. So before I get started, I always like to just completely start with a blank slate. So I'm gonna take everything down off of the coffee bar and just completely start over. Join me for this fall update. So now I pretty well have the coffee bar stripped down. I did leave some of the chalk art up. Um, I may change my mind about that, but I do really like that part. So I think I might try to incorporate that in. And now I have set aside some of the things I want to put back up into this coffee bar. Obviously, it is a coffee bar. So I have items that go with the coffee bar, like the sugar and the coffee containers the sugar pour, just some nice things that would work for fall that were up before. And then over here, I have a few new things. So these three were in my shop with me video. So if you missed that, I did a fall shop with me at Hobby Lobby and at Target. So this is these three items here from that video from Hobby Lobby. I have a new wood sign that I'm gonna add to this. This will also be in my Etsy shop if you're interested in that, it says, you are the pumpkin to my spice. So it's just a cute little wood sign. And then this pumpkin is from Dollar Tree and that was from my Dollar Tree haul video that I recently did. And I will have all of those videos linked in the description box below if you'd like to check those out. And besides that, I'm just gonna go through my fall decor boxes and use what I already have to update this coffee bar. That I added was this pumpkin patch wood sign. I have a tutorial on that as well if you'd like to make one for yourself. Next, I added these copper coffee mugs that I had thrifted at one time and sort of switched around my Ray Dunn mugs. I also added my fall banner to the front of the coffee bar. I have a tutorial on this as well. They are just burlap leaves from the Dollar Tree. Then I added the placemat from Hobby Lobby, this tier tray from Hobby Lobby. I added my candle back and then this cute bowl again from Hobby Lobby. I accessorized that tray with the coffee bar items, a towel from Ikea, and then a few spoons to just have them handy for when we are making coffee. This cute little pumpkin I hand painted on a slice of wood. This chalkboard easel is a Target Dollar Spot find. I also added an antique wood bowl and scoop. To really add that cozy fall feeling, I added some leaf garland and some warm lights that I found at a Target Dollar Spot as well. And that really kind of warmed up the space and gave it a nice ambiance. I hid the thermostat that sits on this wall with a handmade wood sign and then a pitcher from the Target Dollar Spot filled with stems from the Dollar Tree. This pumpkin that was also from the Dollar Tree is probably my favorite item. When it's lit, it is just so beautiful. It has that mercury glass look. I also added some more of those fall leaves and then added those same leaves up on the top to kind of carry the look throughout the space. I added the new Buffalo Check plate from Hobby Lobby right at the top and center to help pull up that same print that was on the bottom with the placemat. And then I anchored it with a basket full of pumpkins, a cute little deer, and then on the other side I added the cutting board, and that cute little fall sign, another mug, and a few extra little pumpkins. 
To fill in the space, I added some Dollar Tree burlap pumpkins and a couple little faux antlers that I found at Walmart. Next, I had so much fun adding the chalkboard art. This wall was just painted with Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, and it's really easy to erase and then change your decor out. And I really love that you can add whatever kind of art you want, wherever you want it to fill in little spaces and gaps. So I did end up leaving all of that extra chalkboard art that I originally had and then just filled it in with some fall leaf shapes and it really turned out just like I wanted. The chalkboard art really gives this a completely different texture and dimension and gives it that extra special needed touch. And then of course I lit those candles. That gives it such a warm and cozy, perfect fall feeling. And that's all I did to update the coffee bar to give it a more fall look. And here is what the coffee bar looked like before the update. And then a look at the full coffee bar all decked out for fall. Fall really is my very favorite season. I enjoy decorating for fall, but I also love the warm, cozy feeling that all of the fall decor brings to our home. Check out the description box below as well. I will have links to the tutorials on how I created some of the projects that you'll see in this coffee bar. So if you'd like to recreate this look, you can find those down there. I want to take a second to thank Christina again over at the DIY Mommy for hosting this fall DIY and decor challenge. I will have her playlist linked down in the description box below, so make sure you go check that out and let them know that Shannon at the Daily DIYer sent you over. Let me know in the comments below, do you drink coffee? And if you do, what is your favorite kind of coffee? Mine right now, of course, is pumpkin spice latte to go with the fall season, but really I love most medium brewed coffees as long as there's some kind of delicious and yummy creamer in there as well. that my video today inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up so I can continue bringing you great DIY tutorials. And you can also hit that share button and share this video with your friends and family to inspire them as well. aren't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and follow me along on my DIY journey. I post DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also click the bell right next to the subscribe button and you will get notified when my videos go live. Also follow me on social media, both on Facebook and on Instagram by searching The Daily DIYer. You'll find some sneak peeks and behind the scenes over on those platforms.
for following me along on this journey of decorating my coffee bar for the fall season. I hope you guys will stick around and join me for more DIY tutorials. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys.